Finally from us this evening, science in the stadium. For some years here, we had a colleague from Nebraska. She was passionate about the news and the University of Nebraska football team, the Cornhuskers. Our colleague had a sense of humor about farm jokes, but she never told us about the physics. For that, ABC's Bob Jamison had to go all the way from here to Lincoln, Nebraska. There's almost nothing Professor Timothy Gay likes more than teaching physics. We experience time in a completely different way than we experience space. Nothing, that is. Except University of Nebraska football. In football, Professor Gay sees not only the game, but his beloved physics in action. Mass, velocity, force, on display in real life. Professor Gay decided football was a perfect way to make physics understandable and fun. So now, how do you reach a wider audience? With television, of course. A really big television. Football physics with UNL physics professor, Dr. Tim Gay. Energy, like force and momentum, are important quantities in physics. The giant screen at Nebraska's Memorial Stadium now shows Professor Gay's physics lectures. The class size, 77,000. This game, the subject was energy. Both teams combined expend enough energy to lift a pickup 10 yards in the air, enough for a vertical first down. Other video lectures have addressed momentum and force. Rude's momentum, roughly 1,000 kilogram meters per second, and three times that of the Oklahoma player, effectively stops the run. And gyroscopic motion. A football must be spinning for it to be stable in flight. I wanted to talk to as many people as possible about physics. Uh, I was worried, though, that the fans would say, ah, you know, we come here to see football. We don't really want to go back to school and learn about physics. The professor needn't have worried. Fans pay attention. And so do the players, including 320-pound offensive tackle Adam Jolch. It's not like most things where they show something that not everybody watching it. Everybody's focused on watching it. It was very entertaining for the people. By season's end, fans may no longer talk about a good punt, but about the angle at which it was kicked and how the ball then rotated on the proper axis. And if all of this makes the Cornhuskers better, colleges soon may not only have a team physician. Let's thank our football physics professor for entertaining and educating us this season. But also a team physicist. Bob Jamison, ABC News, Lincoln, Nebraska. That's our report on World News Tonight. On Nightline this evening is zero tolerance, always the best response to school violence. I'm Peter Jennings. We hope you have a good evening. Good night.